it's, it's, there's a critical mass in the school of, of health and, and uh, social well-being here in, at Bristol UWE. It's amazing and you need that. If you, if you really want to be the best that you can be in the professions, the 18 professions that this school deals with, then you need a critical mass and that means you need enough academics. So there are 300 and plus of academics here, specialists in the areas that you want and need. There's also a lot of other students, so there's 4,000 students as well, and that's important because you need that support and you learn from one another as well as, as the academic staff too. Uh, and you also need that range uh, and, and sort of dovetailing of all the different professions. I, for example, trained in social work many moons ago. You've got social work here, you've got environmental health, you've got you know, midwifery, nursing, everything pretty much that you could possibly want. And it's very important as you prepare for a professional future that you have that sort of cross-fertilisation with other professions. You need to know what other people do so you can do your job best. Well firstly, what you've got here at UWE, uh, here at the Glenside campus, is lovely. I mean, you do need lovely surroundings, I believe. Uh, you know, I think people who go into the caring professions in particular are often shortchanged, and I think they deserve better surroundings. They certainly deserve better pay. Uh, if we haven't learned the lesson before now, we certainly must have post-pandemic. Um, or during the pandemic process, I should say, because it's still not over, that, you know, key workers are our heroes. They're NHS heroes. When the chips are down, these are the people, the people that are being trained here so well, that matter, that make a difference, that keep the country going, that keep us all fit and safe uh, and, and living longer and, and hopefully avoiding death, because it's been a serious business over the last 18 months. And it's this investment that's going to make sure that whatever happens in the future, God forbid it is another pandemic, but whatever comes our way, we're going to have top class professionals able to deal with whatever it is the nation needs. Oh, well, look, they're huge employers. So from my point of view, responsible for business and investment and making sure the economy works well locally, universities are huge employers. Uh, but they're very important because of what they give to the community as well as what they take. Uh, and look, this is a great example. You've got this eye clinic that I'm having the honor of opening today. Uh, and what you've got there is something that provides help to the local community. Uh, you know, places just down the road like Fish Ponds and, and, um, and uh, Froome Vale and I think Eastville and other surrounding areas. They are getting prescriptions, they're getting glasses, they're getting contacts uh, and they're getting their eyes tested. So it's not just about what a university takes out of the community in terms of how it trains people, it's what it gives back and I, I really am excited by that because I think universities have to be living parts of the communities they're in, not just separate from them, literally in their ivory towers. We can't do that, we need to be you know, working together, making a difference in the communities that we in, we're in because after all, the local communities here are very understanding and welcome the students here which is part of why the experience is great if you come to University of Western England, Bristol, but uh, you know, it is also important that we as uh, our institutions give back and, and that's clearly what you do in an amazing way. <laughs>